What's up, everybody out there? How you guys all doing? Artist of Strong Style here. Here to give you another deck profile I have for you guys. Okay. It's going to be a Kaiju deck. Now, you've seen before I've done a bit of Kaijus with other decks I have. This one is going to be like a pure Kaiju. Kaiju depends on going second. It's a second turn going deck. So, hopefully you can go second. If you're going first, it's risky. And this deck can be risky. Now, okay. Now, I told you before, the Kaijus... Okay, we already know the number one rule. You can only control one if you're going to give one to your opponent. And then you can special summon one of your own. Now, this time in the Kaiju deck, you are going to depend on doing their effects. I'll admit to you that. This time, you are playing by what their effects do. So, here we go. Further ado... It's a fun deck. Remember, all fun decks I do, I never play those damn cards. You know, Evac Failure, Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre, Nibiru's. Um, you know, Trap Cards, you know, Evenly Matched. Um, none of those cards I will play. So, first off, you're going to go with the Gamma Seal. Now, okay, it is the lowest attack, but the most powerful effect. So, Gamma Seal, the effect is... Okay, no need to explain of what it does, because particularly we just know that of know that effect. But what you don't know about the second effect is... Okay. Is... You can only control one. Okay, we already know that. Now, here's the thing. You're going to give your opponent... You're going to give yourself... Counters. These depend on counters. Which, yeah, you do have a card in here that gives you counters. Now, if you remove two counters, you can remove two. From anywhere on the field, negate the activation, and if you do, banish that card. So it's considered the best one because you banish. Now, sometimes you got to be careful... Because if you have counters and your opponent has a kaiju, they can count it as their own because it would be considered theirs. So, kaiju, gamma seal, is considered the lowest attack but the best effect. So, yeah, when you play kaijus and you give your opponent the kaijus and you have counters, just be careful because they can play it, they can play them as well. All right, then we know. The Mad Flame. Now, what you don't know is the effect of what the Mad Flames do, or particularly any of the Kaijus. You do not know their effects. So let's go with Mad Flame. Now, the effect is when you remove three counters, counters, three, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls, all monsters, but it cannot attack that turn. So it's just, yeah, blowing up the whole entire, you know, blowing up all monsters, but it cannot attack. Then lightning strike. Now, then, when you have three, you can attack three times as long as you're attacking monsters. It cannot be direct three times. So if your opponent has two monsters, okay, fine, two times. If your opponent has three, three times as long as you're destroying a monster. And that is by how many counters? Three. Okay. Now what I use two of, but of course, yeah, it's Kaiju. Go with first. Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer. Remove three counters from anywhere on the field. Negate that effect. And if you do, destroy one card on the field. All right, decent, good. Mystery Dust and Sticky String are not the powerfulest effects, but of course, yeah, you're going to want to play Kaiju. So let's go Mystery Dust first. Now, remove three counters from anyone on the field. Attack and defense of other monsters on the field become halved.
Then remove two counters, either way on the field, until the end of the, until the end of the next turn. Cannot attack and effects are negated. So yeah, weak, but Kaiju's Kaiju. You can put in the Raiden. I don't need to, or if you want to put more um, more copies. But for me, I'm going two, 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 and then these are considered the best ones out of the Kaijus. But yeah, number one best is Gamma Seal. And yeah, it is Kaiju, so you are playing a lot of Kaiju since it's a Kaiju deck. Now, what's not Kaiju that's monsters is that you're possibly gonna you're gonna need. First, I would say use Fairy Tail Luna. Reason of Fairy Tail Luna. When you is of course, yeah. When you summon it, search for an eighteen fifty. So most likely, send for another Luna. Now, this is what's good about her. Okay, first you search. Second, during either player's turn, you can target one card. You can target one monster. So most likely, target your opponent's monster. Now, the one that you target, your opponent must send away another copy of that monster you chose to negate Luna's effect. And the effect of Luna is if they do not do it, then that monster is going to go back to their hand and your Luna goes back to your hand. If they choose to send away another copy, well, then Luna's effect is negated. Not destroyed, just negates. And you can do it on either turn. So it's like, okay, I'll summon out Luna, search for my Luna. End of my turn, whatever they summon out, I'll choose Luna's effect, target that monster. They must send away another copy to negate Luna's effect or that monster and your Luna goes back to your hand. Luna's so good, especially with going against Kaijus. Remember, a Kaiju and a Kaiju. Lumina, effect, hit this Kaiju. Does my opponent have Kaijus? No. So my Luna goes back, the Kaiju goes back. And there you go. Back to me. Because I'm the one that controls it. That's what I love about Luna when it comes down to playing with the Kaijus. Target one of the Kaijus. But if your opponent's not playing Kaijus, they, they can't send another copy. Well, then my Luna comes back. The Kaiju comes back. Because who owns the Kaiju? I do. It may be on the field, but when it comes to a hand, who really controls it? I do. So the Kaiju comes back to me. Then you got Thunder King Ryos. These are the little ones I put in. Now, of course, yeah. You want to have at least something in there. Can't always be Kaijus. So, Luna, that's one. Thunder King Ryos, when that's summoned out, no one can search. Except by drawing. As well as also, anytime a special summoning were to be happening, you can remove Thunder King Ryo for that one turn and negate it. Not bad, I have Thunder King Ryo's. A Grand Mole and a World Win. Grand Mole, anytime it were to be attacked or you do attack a monster without damage calculation, put the Grand Mole back to your hand, put that monster back to the Back to the owner. And if you're hitting a hitting a monster, well then of course, yeah, get rid of it. And without damage calculation, no matter what the attack is, if it's four thousand, okay, I'll attack. That card goes back, your grandma comes back, but you took no battle damage. It is a tuner, Gale, but I'm not synchronizing with the deck, but I am but I am playing with its effect. <clears throat> Which Gale is. Now, once per turn, you can target one face on monster your opponent controls. That target's attack and defense becomes half of its attack and defense. And it's permanent. You can hit one huge big monster, it gets cut in half. Now, here's the thing. If Gale were to stay, imagine you do it once again. That means it's double half. So if you're going against a monster, it's... Okay, Three uh, three thousand. Just let's just say 
Simple blue eyes white dragon. Okay, Gale, I'll cut it in half so it becomes 15. If Gale were to stay, I can hit the blue eyes white dragon once again. It's lower than 15 once again. So half of 15, and that's the attack of the blue eyes white dragon. So from 3,000 to 15 to cut in half once again. That's the way Gale goes, and it's permanent. So even if Gale were to be sent away, no matter what monster had that attack and it went lower, it stays. It's permanent. That's what I like about Gale. Even if it is a tuner, I just like the effect of it. So I would still put it in. So I at least have some kind of monsters besides just Kaijus. Hopefully I have something. And then Luna's considered like the best one. All right, then. That's all monsters. Now let's go with... Now, okay. This is the field spell. Kyoto. Waterfront. This is how you get the... This is how you get the... um. Counters. Okay. Anytime a card were to be sent to the graveyard, then you put a counter on it. So, if it was um, Harpy's Feather Duster. Okay. Now, okay, Harpy's Feather Duster, we know a lot of cards are going to be sent away. No, for only for that Harpy's Feather Duster because that's the effect of Harpy's Feather Duster. It gets those cards away, but it doesn't mean that. So, one card went away, so you're at one. These are how you get your counters. As long as a card is sent away. So yeah, no matter what it is. If they were to tribute or they're going to synchro, okay. Synchro. So your tuner, so a tuner and whatever you're going to make, that's two. So count it up. A maximum up to five. Now, if this card were to be destroyed, you can take away one counter to keep it alive. And this is how your counters go. So, then, here we go with Mad Flame. Okay. Remove three, because, yeah, I have to remove move from play three. Then the effect of destroying all cards my opponent has, all my opponent's monsters. But it cannot attack. Now, even though if you're destroying all those kind of monsters, doesn't mean it counts for this. It's just the effect of the Mad Flame. But then just remember, if they have it and you have counters, they can do it as well because it's it's there that's controlling. So they would play. So they would play it. So just be careful on that. And then Gamma Seal, maybe the lowest, but then fine. Have it in defense mode. If you're at five, I am going to activate, remove two. So it's at three. Vanish. Maximum up to five. And when you have up to three, once per turn, search for a kaiju. Terraforming for, of course, yeah. Field spells. Interpreted Kaiju Slumber. Of course, we all know that. Now, same thing, just like Harpy's Feather Duster. That would have been the situation. For all cards that were sent away, because of Interpreted Kaiju Slumber, okay, still no. Because it's only for Interpreted Kaiju Slumber. So, it would count for your one. Not sent sending away. It's just the effect of Interpreted Kaiju Slumber. But yeah, whatever you do, just watch out because whatever kaiju you give them or if you have, you know, counters, they can do it as well. And then, of course, yeah. Once per turn, you can move from play. Get a kaiju. 
So I'm just saying, just be careful when it comes down to doing that. Tsuregeki, your Harpy's Feather Duster, your Book of Moons, and yeah, same thing, Raigeki, okay, destroys monsters, but only the Raigeki effect, so you get a counter for Raigeki. Book of Moon, your Book of Moon, but Book of Moon was sent away, that counts as a counter. Harpy's Feather Duster, destroys all cards, but only Harpy's Feather Duster. And yeah, this is how you get counters. Of course, Compulse, Torrential, and then yes, Torrential, destroy all monsters, but no matter how many monsters were thrown away, it's only Torrential's effect, not, of course, yeah, sending them away, but it's by the effect of Torrential. So, counter. Compulse, yeah, Compulse, but then this card goes, that counts as a counter. A maximum up to five. Fun deck, I like it, but then of course, yeah, this deck, it depends on... I'm going second. Because if you're going first and no monster, you got nothing. I was playing this deck before with a friend of mine. I mean, of course, yeah, this deck I made... But it's like, you know, for a while, I was not playing this. But just, yeah, you know, decks I have made, I am willing to show, I am willing to show you guys because, well, just, yeah, all decks I've done, I'm willing to show you the decks I've done. So, yeah, this was my Kaiju deck. And Kaijus depend on going second. If you're not going second, well, then best of luck. You have your other monsters or, you know, your backup cards. And then, just like I said, that's the way you get your counters. But then just watch out, because if your opponent had it, you have counters. They can play it as well, because it's their monster. And then Luna is just totally awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Now I'll show you a video on how this deck is played. Speak to y'all later. Peace.